this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Hello and welcome back and that is right today we're continuing our best NAS of the year series and today it's the turn of the best two bay NAS solutions to buy at the end of 2024. If you've not watched the other videos that I've done year on year let me give you a quick heads up. These are solutions that I would argue if you're looking for a two bay NAS you can't get better options in the market right now. Every single solution that I'm going to talk about one has to be available by the end of October 31st also has to be available at least two to three different retailers depending on the solution and the reading with which it was built and also every single one of these solutions has to be a combined hardware software solution it has to be turnkey it has to include both the hardware and the software appliances for you to utilize it you shouldn't have any additional costs it has to be one price for the solution and then you're good to go so let's talk about two bays two bays arguably for me are incredibly popular as a first NAS. They're the ones that you go for where you simply have mirror redundancy, but also a small, compact, low power, low impact, low footprint system. So before we get onto my top three picks, let's talk about my honorable mention. This is a device that cl flew very close to the sun, but didn't quite make it. This is the Unif Drive. The Unified Drive, I should say, or the UT2, is a solution that launched on Kickstarter in September, October 2024. The reason it's not making the big list is simply it is not available for traditional retail right now. It is real. I've got hold of one of these. I've played with it. I've taken it apart. I've used the software. I really like it, but I'm not prepared to put it as one of my main topics. There is no mention as an honorable mention. It's hopefully in 2025 this thing hits normal retail there. But I will say this thing is blinding this is a true mobile nas device it has two m.2 nvme slots inside it supports 2.5 gigabit ethernet there it's usb powered with a battery inside it has slot on the front for not only sd cards if you choose to use there you have two different sd card slots on top of that you can attach usb for local backup there's also mobile applications there's also an hdmi output the the system has container support the system has reliable backup software cloud backup software the whole thing can be managed from a mobile phone indeed from a desktop as well and with the system arriving i believe at crowdfunding at around four to five hundred nicker for a two bay mvme system and probably a little bit more when it hits main retail outside of crowdfunding i absolutely love this mobile nas it is a true mobile nas i wish i could have included it in the main list i just can't but without that uh, out of the way let's talk about the three main nas devices that are the best two bays to buy at the end of 2024 Despite Synology arguably starting to earn more and more towards the enterprise more than anything to challenge the hyperscale and the unified storage crown, it has to be said that they still do an absolutely blinding selection of this station solution from time to time. And one of them that has never really left my mind arrived at the end of 2022, and that is the DVA-1622. This is a NAS that was in my best two bays last year and will continue to be this year. This is a surveillance dedicated solution. However, it supports not only surveillance station 9, but of course, this station as well it is a compact two bay system that's powered by a quad core intel celeron processor and arrives at 599 dollars so i know a number of you are like what what F nearly 600 nicker for a two are you insane rob hear me out Notwithstanding, it's an Intel powered system. That means that with that integrated graphics, you're looking at Plex Transcoding, you're looking at graphical manipulation there. Also, it supports the very latest version of DSM. Also, it's part of the generation of Synology NASs that had a broader, wider compatibility with hard drives in a way that more modern sol solutions from Synology have a tendency to have a more curated hard drive compatibility list. But on top of that, this system also arrives with eight camera licenses as eight camera licenses each one of those licenses is worth about 30 dollars on its own this allows you to not only deploy this system as a standard technology but at the same time you can deploy as a very very ai powered nvr system by ai powered i'm not just saying that's a car that's a tree that's a person this is the one that has facial recognition it has a deep video analysis built into it there it can run up to two ai tasks at any given time and alongside the full complement 
of a uh, task built into surveillance station with thousands upon thousands of cameras supported. Yes, you can get surveillance station with any other NAS, but the same hardware this arrives with in a two bay such as uh, the DS723 uh, plus, arguably slightly different architecture there, retails for about 400 or so nicker. This arrives at 599 with all of those camera licenses. It also has HDMI KVM out so you can directly input into it for that surveillance and it's just as a two bay with eight gig of memory as well. It's just insane how much they've crammed into this little two bay. Now, QNAP have a great, great, great history with 2Bay and indeed 4Bay NAS solutions. I love a lot of their stuff over the years. But it has to be said that a recent innovation that was added to an arguably older NAS, the TS253E, has made it even more appealing to me. Now, the TS253E arrived with an Intel J6412 um, processor, a quad core Intel's processor there. And again, pretty good it's one of the few NASs out there that takes advantage of that it also has 8 gig of DDR4 memory as well it's got a couple of 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports it's got a couple of gen 3 times 2 slots inside you know it's all fair and well and it's good enough and it arrives at 499 seems fair and well you know what what's the big if what's what makes this system stand out well nice and simple it supports ZFS, the QUTS uh, platform from QNAP, that is their ZFS based version of, QUT, uh, of QTS, arrives with not only inline data to duplication, inline compression, and all of the benefits of removing the volume layer and writing directly onto the pool, alongside RAID benefits and more when it comes to expansions as well, because QNAP allows for expansions in their ZFS platform. All of that is rolled into this simple little two bay. There are barely any two bay NAS devices in the market that are genuinely turnkey that support ZFS. Indeed, this is one of the smallest QNAP NASs that successfully deploys ZFS on its system. Again, it's the main standout for this. The hardware on it, I'm not going to say it's bad, but I'm not going to say the reason it's in this list is because of its hardware. I'm saying because it is its hardware combined with the ZFS software from QNAP. And QNAP's platform already has multiple surveillance applications it has ai photo recognition it has ai surveillance applications built into it as well although some of the larger scale ones are uh, locked behind licensing there plex media server runs like a dream on this thing you can run a lot of their dedicated multimedia apps business apps backup apps and more ultimately the ts253e in of itself is probably not the most exciting two bay but once you roll in the capabilities roll in the scalability roll in the qnaps zfs software you got yourself a winner And finally, the F2424 from TerraMaster. TerraMaster kind of reinvented a lot of their hardware architecture about nine, 10 months ago and slowly went through all of their chassis in the latest generation and not only changed a lot of the hardware configuration, but a lot of their hardware choices in line with the rollout of TOS 6, uh, their plus platform TerraMaster operating system. This system arrives with the N95 quad core CPU and all the lake with quite a low base clock speed of between 0.8 and one gigahertz that can be burst well into the three gigahertz and higher with integrated graphics as well. On top of that the system arrives with a couple of 2.5 gig ports 10 uh, sorry 8 gig of ddr5 memory inside ultimately it's a decent little nas in of itself but it's the price tag at 379 dollars that really stands out for you it's the cheapest nas on this list by some margin on top of that it also arrives with support of not only their own operating system which has evolved i would argue and although it still doesn't challenge Synology dsm it still does a pretty darn good job in what it does and probably better than it's ever been but on top of that if you don't want to use their own software you can use unraid you can use um, true nas if you choose to use and it doesn't affect your hardware warranty what you're getting is a well-made compact two hard drive and importantly two nvme system that is ready for true nas just like that and luckily because the software is deployed via a usb bootloader it means it is very very easy to stick a third party os on this because all you simply need to do is stick in your own usb drive pop on your own operating system and boom you're good to go and adding to that, the enormous range of expansion devices that TerraMaster have been rolling out that include the D8, uh, sorry, the D5 hybrid and the D8 hybrid that arrive with either two or four hard drives alongside two or four NVMEs on the side, all result in a system that is hugely expandable, hugely customizable. And again, at 379 Nicker, pretty much a bargain.
But there you go, those are the best two bay NAS devices to buy at the tail end of 2024. If you are interested in getting hold of any of these, then do use the links listed in the description below. They're listed to multiple retailers, so if you found this video helpful, and if you're going to go to those retailers anyway, make sure those two things are true, then please please use those links. It gives a small commission to me and Eddie here at NAS Compares, and it's just us doing this doing what we do lastly with black friday coming up around the corner i will try 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 to put any deals that i find below there's also links towards other guides plex tests um, and the full reviews for every single nas that i've talked about today linked in the description below i've made sure to review every one of these first thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a fantastic week